Hey guys, Sarah Jane here. In this video, I'm going to talk about health and hygiene on the Appalachian Trail. My plan is to complete the Appalachian Trail in five to six months. I will be preparing um, about five resupply boxes. Um, I will receive one a month. They will have a few items that I have um, been collecting and purchasing um, leading up to my through hike. Keep in mind these items are not food items, they're just um, things like, you know, a foot powder. One will go with and then the other five will come in each box. Electrolyte tablets. Uh, spent quite some time drying out uh, antibacterial wet wipes. I decided to go antibacterial um, just for more of a thorough clean. So I'll have there's five of those, and I'll have the exact same setup in my pack as I start. Uh, also, I bought a crap ton of the hand sanitizer. Uh, but these will just be refills. Um, I intend on keeping my hands as clean as possible out there. During the winter months, um, and maybe the first two boxes, I got myself some hand warmers. Woo! Oh, they last, somewhere I read is very, really cool to know. I had no idea, but um, these last up to 10 hours, and they're activated by air. So if you use it for three hours, and say you're done or you're warm enough or whatever, you can slide them into a Ziploc bag, push all the air out, and you should have the remaining seven hours if you only use the first three um, of heat. So they're not toast once you just crack them and open. You can actually um, save them and reuse them. I don't know if you knew that, but I didn't. Bought the, cake, the roll KT tape and busted it up. Most of the applications require three strips. I split them into three strips, and I'll have one in each box if needed. So. I have special shampoo that I use for my scalp. I have psoriasis of the scalp, so I use tea gel. I feel like um, I'll probably use it every time I wash my hair, just to kind of um, give my scalp a little break. Oh, my toothpaste. So I'll have one of these in each box as well. I also take a multivitamin for women. They also have men's if you're a man. Anyway, so I busted these up into individual little packets. Okay, so I have 37 month, month supply of vitamins, so I'll have one of these in each box. I'll also start with one, obviously. I know I won't be getting a whole lot of showers, but when I do, I really like to get my ears clean. <laughs> I got plenty of those in the little baggies. And if you're wondering about these bags, oh my gosh, go to the craft department or Michael's and find these bags. So the two different sizes, they're absolutely perfect for stuff like this. Hello. And another thing to help boost my immune system, these emergencies are absolutely amazing because sometimes the vitamins, when your body's like working that hard and it's becoming this well-oiled machine, the vitamins can be flushed out of your body faster and you're, you don't get all the nutrients that they provide. So when you put something like this into a, a beverage, a liquid beverage, they absorb a little easier into your body and faster. Um, as your body's processing things faster too, so consider emergency. Now this next topic is um, female related only since I can't comment on um, male hygiene. This particular portion of this video is for the menstrual cycle, so periods if you will. Upon all my research, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can deal with your period on trail. Um, I felt, as I read different options, um, I felt keeping what was tried and true was probably going to be the best thing for me since I'm familiar with my normal way of dealing with my period. So I'm going to pack in and pack out uh, tampons. I will be sending myself um, the monthly amount of my choice. But I'll be using the Playtex tampons that have the applicator that snap 
so it's more compact. Now the big question, how do you dispose of tampons in the woods? Well you don't, you take them out with you. You could just use a plain old Ziploc, but I could just imagine after just a day or two what that may look like. So I've decided to um, give myself just a little bit more dignity and privacy and I found these black Ziploc bags online. Um, 10 pack for, I don't know, like four or five dollars. They're, I don't know, it's just, I can put them in there and dump them in a the trash every time I see one or in a regular toilet. Please do not put them in privies. They do not break down um, and you are just hurting the environment. Do not bury them either. Pack them out, ladies. Treat the woods like the woods. Don't leave your crap out there. Anyway, so I'll have one of these, a pack of my liners, and then my monthly amount of tampon products that'll also come with me on um, one per box. Um, so that's my period plan. So I also have some upon request items that I'm calling them. Um, basically, I don't want one in every box because I don't know what my usage rate will be or if I'll need them or that I know I don't need one every month or something like that. So I'm calling these my upon request items. Bug repellent. I'll start with one, but in the winter months I don't predict um, me needing it, so I may not start with one, who knows. Since all my gear and clothing will be treated with Sawyer permethrin, um, and I will also be having one of those in my box every month um, to treat my gear. Uh, this will just be back up in case it's completely unbearable. Back that up, this is a head net. You probably won't ever see my face because I'll just be this thing all the time. I might even use them in shelters when mice and other bugs are crawling around. Blech. As bug nets actually also treat with permethrin. Leave-in conditioner. Say what you will. My hair is long. It's fine. It's thin. If I don't cut it, I intend on... Um, if I can just wet my hair a little bit and put this in there just to kind of condition it a little bit. Uh, I don't know what a usage rate would be on this stuff, so I'll just start with one. If I choose to keep it, I'll request one be dropped in a box or two here and there along the way. I will be starting with a tube of Body Glide. This is the Body Glide women's version for blisters and chafing. I've seen this used in lots of different ways. Be sure to familiarize yourself with what Body Glide can do for your fur bike. I wasn't going to do these, but I read an article um, how earplugs can benefit so basically my philosophy behind the earplug is if I'm in my tent and just at any night, I don't think, I know I'm not going to be wearing them. That's where I wasn't going to do the earplug. I'm like, I want to hear everything, every twig branch, every bear, every mouse, every deer, every person showing up to camp late. I just want to be aware of my surroundings because that's the kind of person I am. Um, the earplugs I read about in an article, the, one of the pros would be if you're at a hostel or maybe even in a shelter where there's multiple people. I'm a pretty good sleeper, but I'm wondering if the snoring is going to be a problem for me. I need to get my sleep, so I'm going to give these a shot. I'll start with them and then I'll have a couple sent to me if I feel like they benefit my throat. also have some chapstick that will be coming my way. I decided to go for the medicated non-scented smells like paste actually like paste that I used to eat as a kid anyway they call it original and I just didn't go for the scented because it's not I don't know because it's non-scented right isn't that what you're supposed to do Not only is physical health important, mental health is extremely important. They say this is a 50-50 physical mental journey. Just know where you're at mentally and what you can bring with you that may um, break that up or help you uh, push through a really tough day. There are a few things that I've decided to bring along with me to help bust that up a little bit. I will already be starting with one, but these are two other ones that will be sent to me um, upon request. Uh, these are just journals. Um, if I feel like journaling every day to where, I don't know, but it, it's me talking to myself, I suppose. So I feel like um, the journal could be an outlet. So consider that if you, and I don't even journal, so this could be something that breaks it up a little bit, so I'm willing to try that, and I'm excited to as well. The other item is a MP3 player. 
Um, yes, I know you can play music on your phone, but I'll be using my phone for vlogging, for weather updates and communication with family. Didn't want it to be the music part of it all. So this little SanDisk Clip Jam was like $38 and it holds like 2,000 songs. It's also an AM FM radio. I don't intend on hiking too much with music in my ears just because I that's why I'm hiking I want to be outside and I want that sound in my head <laughs> um, but again this could be a substitute for the earplugs if I just want to block other people out um, these are essentials anyway if I'm going to be editing videos on trail I'll need to keep that internally uh, just another item to help that mental game um, just to plug into some music and just kind of get yourself out of it for a second so maybe consider that or not Now the health and hygiene items I will be starting with in my pack. Um, I have busted my bathroom system up into three parts. Uh, the first part being the exterior bathroom bag. That's something that'll be stored on the outside of my pack that I can grab and get to easily um, for bathroom breaks. Well, I'm hiking. So I'll have like a wipe, a few toilet papers, hand sanitizer in here. Even though I have one hanging off my pack, I also want one in here, so I want to use it right away. A trowel will also be in that. Be sure to refresh yourself with the seven leave no trace uh, rules. You do bury your number two break, so be sure you are doing that. Just be sure to dig it six inches deep, crap right over top of that hole, bury it up uh, maybe with a stick, just don't let this touch any you know, number twos because then you also gotta bring this with you. So um, you can put your toilet paper down there as well. Just remember ladies, do not put your tampons or pads or anything else down a cat hole. They do not break down. Bathroom bag number one will also have my daily supply of feminine products during that time of the month. So it'll all go within this one bag. So that'll be bathroom bag number one, the exterior bathroom bag. Um, and I can just describe bathroom bag number two. Um, it's really not like a bag. It's more or less like a bulk stock of my, the rest of the roll of toilet paper because I don't want to carry the whole roll. Just the rest of my wipes, so this will just be in my pack somewhere and I'll only take one or two out for my number one pack. Um, and then I'll also have my remaining feminine products that I need during the month. Uh, and that'll be it for bathroom bag number two. <laughs> then I have bathroom bag number three, and this is basically oral hygiene. Um, I slipped my monthly supply of vitamins in here because it's most likely I'll be taking my vitamin after breakfast, so, you know, might as well keep it all in one spot instead of having to dig through a first aid bag to find the vitamins I take every day. Inside this bag, very simple, um, I have retainers to keep my smile straight. My floss, and I have practiced flossing without a mirror. Pretty darn good at it. And of course, my toothbrush and toothpaste. Originally, I had saw the handle off but you know how hard that is to brush? I guess you can imagine this being one. It's not, I don't feel like you get the right angles and the pressure right in the right spot. So um, I decided to go with the collapsible handle one so I can still have the, you know, the angles right. Uh, be sure to take care of your teeth, people. Especially if you're not used to eating all these sweets and Pop-Tarts and Snickers and all these all this junk food on the trail. Cavities are very expensive. I have this... It's Maggie and Major. I have this um, bag that'll be in my pack. I would highly suggest not using these zipper ones because after a while, even though you zip it closed, it'll pop open. I've been using the... Um, freezer bag, quart size zip bag. I like this a lot better. So, inside this crazy bag, it'll also be my pack. Uh, this is Luco tape. I don't intend on having the entire roll, clearly. I gotta figure out a way to bring some with me. Great for blisters um, and just sealing some hot spots in the skin for your feet. Ah, the Q-tips. My tea gel that has exploded. Uh, I'm learning because it's freezing. i to figure that one out my hairbrush. Just an old brush that I just took the rubber part off. Works perfect. Here's my body glide I'll be hiking with. The bug repellent I'll be starting with. Uh, don't forget I'll also have my stuff treated. Sunblock. 
Here's my KT tape. And then um, this is just really good hand lotion, especially for those winter months because I get really, really, really dry chapped hands. I do have a first aid kit, which consists of um, just a few things. Triple antibiotic ointment, band-aids, um, also butterfly strips, which I feel will be more beneficial than a band-aid. Um, if I'm if I'm using a band-aid, that cut's probably not going to be that bad. Uh, butterfly strips, however, are great for gashes and open wounds. Uh, ibuprofen, I'll have Benadryl for any kind of allergy reactions. Uh, also in that first aid kit, I'll have a few antacids. I do get heartburn every once in a while, um, and I just kind of predict uh, hiking will bring that on, so I want to make sure I'm ready for those. start series health and hygiene on the Appalachian Trail. If you have any questions or comments or you want to add to the content of this video or make other suggestions that I have not listed here, please do so in the comment section below. I'm always eager to read what the community has to say about topics that are passionate to me as well. So anyway, comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And if you've not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when I drop videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.